the man of the moment. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. And the match begins. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. And over it comes, not away completely. Well, they survived the attack. Torres. Cross blocked. How could he take them on and beat them? Must be! Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. But a skillful operator, an excellent technician. I think that would describe Pedri. What might we see from him in this game? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. A good and fair challenge. Lewandowski. Well, Barcelona are seeking a win after in the last game they could only draw against Olympic Lyonnais. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Yeah, there wasn't too much between them in that one all draw. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start. Oh, I... wait, Stuart, they might score. In it goes. But it will not stand offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Tomiyasu, Bukayo Saka. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Bayern and he's going to be kicking himself after this one because it's hit the bar and it's gone out of play. It remains 1-0 with 21 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Pedri. Torres. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. The fans are shouting, shoot! And putting pay to the danger. Bukayo Saka. Parte. Now with Jesus. Possession given away by Gabriel Jesus. And a loss of concentration. That is a tackle and a half. He's using his strength to good effect. Torres. 
Interception to snuff out the danger. Martin Odegaard. Gundogan. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Nicely saved. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. So the corner played into the box. Well, still an issue here. Throw in here for Arsenal. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? Nicely timed tackle. Gabriel Jesus. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Have to pay attention defensively. Well, let's see about the cross. And fine goalkeeping. There will be one minute added on at the end. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't got on the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Joao Cancelo. On to Gunduan. Return to Cancelo. Teammate available. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Martinelli. Arsenal's free kick here. And the substitution will occur now. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Zinchenko. Martin Odegaard. It's a neat move. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Arsenal couldn't keep the ball. Well, a goal to update you on. It's gone in in the City game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's another goal for Valencia. They're ahead by two now with 58 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. 
patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Pedri. Now with De Jong. Lewandowski. Gabriel Jesus could be a chance to break here Zinchenko lack of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball Lewandowski Pedri now with De Jong Oh, this looks useful. Can he take the chance? Twenty minutes remaining. And new developments at the Zignali Duna Park. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Real Madrid. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 20 minutes left on the clock. Entertaining stuff, so is it going to be? And what a magical save it was! Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Short corner favoured. Bukayo Saka. Not a hard save for Ter Stegen to make. Well, Arsenal are still in this, but unless they show more composure in front of goal, this is going to be a frustrating day for them. And now the visionary, Lewandowski. Oh, he saved it well. well they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Who can he pick out? Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper's done well to hold on to that. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Real Madrid did score in that match, and they hold the aces presently, leading 2-1. Well, this game is ebbing away. Can Barcelona get over the line? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern game. Alex Scott can fill us in. And it's another goal for Atletico Madrid. He shot far post, the keeper parries it, but the rebound has been put in nicely. They've pulled one back with just under 10 minutes left to play. Alex, thank you very much. <laughs> He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Could cross it in here. Sends it back. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. But how has he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Two-nil now, and back on the way. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Declan Rice. It's with Erdegaard. Declan Rice. Zinchenko. 
Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Corner awarded to Arsenal. The final whistle is sounded, and it's a victory for Barcelona. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?